good morning to all of you in last video i have discussed about the quinolones that is a unit 4 in chemotherapy and immunopharmacology about the quinolone how they are synthesized and how uh, they are modified so in this video i am going to discuss about fluoroquinolones fluoroquinolones particularly about the mechanism of actions of fluoroquinolone how they show the uh, antibacterial activities so this fluoroquinolone um, mechanism is particularly they inhibit the bacterial nucleic acid synthesis nucleic acid synthesis it inhibits these uh, fluoroquinolones so uh, how this synthesis they inhibit in bacterial dnas you know dna the double stranded dna so this double stranded dna is is unwind and then this single strands is combines with a nucleotide makes one copy and another single strands also combines with nucleotide and make another copies so this is we call replications so this is a replications of dna dna replications so it makes a copies of dna's Another is this bacterial DNA is converted into RNA that is we called transcriptions and from RNA to protein synthesis that is the translational process. So uh, this is these uh, uh, is bacterial synthesis uh, after unwinding of DNAs uh, it will lead to protein synthesis and then also for the replication and for this unwinding of DNA there is a uh, enzymes which helps in the uh, unwinding of DNA enzymes are DNA gyrase that is the topo isomerase two and Topo isomerase 4. These are the enzymes which helps in the unwinding of the uh, uh, DNA. And these DNAs gyrase, particularly these enzymes, mix the double stranded DNA. As I told, double stranded DNA. DNA. And after nicking, there is a coilings and super coilings happen. And this super coiling is in two types positive and negative. So, in uh, this one, uh, in bacteria, there is a particularly negative super coiling is happen in bacteria. And after that, these DNA gyrase uh, introduce the negative super coils, introduce negative super coil, and then reseal the nicked end and then replications will happen there is a uh, these helps dna gyrase and topo isomerase 4 helps here it helps in the productions of daughter cells here it is there the this topo isomerase 4 so uh, this fluoroquinolones what they do fluoroquinolones as you know these are the inhibitors of they inhibit the two uh, two enzymes in the dna these both dna gyrase as well as topo isomerase 4 so it inhibits the both enzymes in the bacteria fluoroquinolones and these fluoroquinolones uh, particularly how they inhibit they bind with the they prevent the binding of the substrate prevent the binding of substrates from where they prevent the binding of substrate to active site of dna active site of sorry active site of uh, enzymes so uh, what happens enzymes substrate complex will not form enzymes substrate complex will not form it will not form and 
unwinding of double stranded dna will not happens unwinding of dna will not happens and if i told you unwinding is important for the replications as well as for the protein synthesis so if unwinding of dna will not happens so ultimately it will produce antibacterial effects so uh, again i am going to repeat its mechanism is uh, uh, these are the bacterial nucleic acid synthesis inhibitor uh, so uh, first you have to understand how this this bacterial dna is double stranded and it unwinds to a single strand then with the nucleotides it makes the copies that is the dna dna replications another process is protein synthesis it convert into rna uh, the process is transcription then rna to protein translational process so dna gyrase topoisomerase 2 or topoisomerase 4 these mix the double stranded dna coils and supercoilings particularly in bacteria negative supercoilings they introduce and then reseal the nicked ends and then replication is happen so fluoroquinolones uh, what they do they inhibit these enzymes topoisomerase 4 and uh, dna gyrase so if you are inhibiting these enzymes so it prevents the binding of substrate to the active site of these enzyme enzyme substrate complex will not form if this complex is not formed ultimately result in unbinding of dna will not happen and if unbinding of dna will not happen uh, it will results in uh, inhibitions of replication as well as a protein synthesis so this is the uh, mechanism of uh, fluoroquinolone in next videos i will discuss about its uh, adverse effects and contraindication and its therapeutic uses thank you